You guys hear me? Apologize for the jet noise in the in the background. Uh, it's great to be here today. Uh, beautiful, sunny day here in Florida. Sorry for a little bit of a late arrival. We had a couple weather issues to deal with uh, back in Houston and uh, a little bit with uh, air traffic control there. It was a little difficult for all of us to get out here when we wanted to. So, uh, But it is good to be here. I uh, had a chance to fly by the pad and take a look at Discovery right before we landed. Uh, we hear it's in great shape. Uh, the gem is loaded in the payload bay, and uh, as soon as we get a couple more spare parts that I'm sure some of you guys are, have heard about that are going to come into Orlando Airport tonight, we're going to be all ready to go. Uh, my crew's ready. Uh, we've been training for a year, and uh, we are really looking forward to our launch on Saturday. Uh, our families are here, so we're all excited about that. They just happened to make it in a little bit before we did. Uh, I'm going to pass the mic to my crew members and uh, for a, word, a couple words from them. It's great to be back here and uh, hopefully for the last time, but we got greeted by our vehicle integration team and uh, it's great to see their faces for all the work they've done for us. I'll tell you what, the single most uh, biggest difference that makes this real for me though is seeing our families down here. That's, uh, that's a neat difference. We've been down here many, many times before, but not with our families in place, so it's cool. Good morning, what a gorgeous day. Um, this is gonna be a great time. We're gonna be working three different robotic arms on this mission. And I would like to take a personal special thanks to all of the teams in Houston and Scuba for getting us ready to fly those robotic arms and for all the mission designers who uh, designed all the profiles that will be flying with them. It's gonna be a, a great time for everyone. Thanks a lot. It's great to be here. We're looking forward to it. Uh, there's been a lot of people that have worked many, many years, upwards of 25 years, to get the Japanese laboratory uh, in the shape that it's in right now. We're looking forward to bringing it up and installing it, looking forward to going outside and uh, hooking everything up there, and we're just really excited to be here and just want to thank all those people both here and in Houston who have made this possible. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon or good morning still. Um, yeah, it's great to be here, um, an exciting mission is coming up, and I'd just like to uh, thank all the uh, hard work that all the Japanese people has been uh, doing on the Japanese module. It's going to be a great mission, and uh, very exciting, for, especially for the Japanese folks. Hello, え、個人的には、え、ジェムに関わってきた、え、多くの方々、日本の方々に感謝したいと思います。え、日本にとって大きなマイルストーンになるえ、ミッションです。え、引き続きご声援よろしくお願いします。As you can tell, we're all very happy to be here, very excited to be here today. Uh, I feel very lucky to be part of this crew and uh, and part of this mission. The uh, the uh, the uh, assembly of uh, attachment of uh, the Japanese experiment module to the space station is going to be a, a real historical turning point uh, for Japan. Uh, for the Japanese people will, will after that point have a continuous presence uh, to do research and, uh, and operations off planet. So it's, it's a real exciting time for Japan. It's also a landmark uh, uh, point for NASA because uh, after this point we have the operations and, uh, and uh, with all the different international partners they're all going to be working together uh, on daily operations around the globe. So uh, a lot of people have prepared for a long time for this mission. Uh, it's hard to believe how much work has got into it, uh, all, not only at KSC, but all around the world. And uh, we're very honored to be part of it. During this mission, uh, Ronnie Guerin and I are going to be stepping out three times for the uh, spacewalks or EVAs. And that spacewalk team has had a lot of work getting us ready. We've been in the water about 30 times. Uh, it's been a long year, and uh, I think everything's finally in place. Discovery's perched on the pad. Kibo is ready to go. The weather looks good, and we're about as ready as we can possibly be. I think it's time to go fly. All right, thank you, everybody. <laughs> 